Well, good morning, folks, and happy Memorial Day. This is E-Chip with Contentment Channel, out at Contentment, as you can see. Shouse is behind me. And I thought I'd go for a walk this morning. I've been working a lot every day, and uh, it's time to get a walk. So I'll take you along with me. I'm going to head down toward the river, which those of you who've seen our channel, I've seen our videos on the river. I thought I'd go down and take a look, see what... See what's changed, if anything. So come along with me. And, you know, whenever I walk down here, I it seems like I always find some new trash. I just pulled these off of the land over there and threw them out here on the road. I'll, I'll gather them up on the way back. I got a bag in my pocket. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, people have been coming out here for decades and shooting cans. And, of course, this is a popular spot for hunters. It's also a popular spot for party animals. And uh, so, I mean, you know, I've walked down this road many times. I haven't seen them before, but I think sometimes the wind gets strong enough where it blows the sand and uncovers uh, some of the stuff that we've never seen before. So... You know, I'm sure that there are decades and decades of shot up cans out here. And uh, so those, as you can see, were metal and they were beer cans. So, uh, you know, how long has it been since you've seen a steel beer can that you open with a, you know, an old fashioned pointed can opener? But uh, that's what's there. And I think one of them had some bullet holes in them or something. So anyway, I, well, I'm taking a walk. I'll clean some of this up if I see anything. Here's some more I found out off the roadway and threw out here. These are, I don't know, why is it whenever you see beer cans laying around littering a place like this, they're always either Bud Light, Coors Light, or Keystone Light. <laughs> hey, Keystone. Hey, hey, Keystone Light. Hey, Coors Light. Uh, let's see. We got here Keystone Light. Okay, Keystone Light, Coors Light, Keystone Light. I'm sure there's got to be some Bud Light around here, too. Those are old. Uh, but uh, gee, hey, Keystone, hey, Coors, hey, Budweiser. How do you like this for uh, for press, huh? Are these the kinds of people that you market to? People who just trash out other people's property. I'll tell you, it's so predictable. There's a nice Bud Light can. Hey, Bud Light, here's some free press for you. Yeah, so those are the kinds of people you guys market to, huh? That's the kind of uh, press you want? Happy to give it to you. That's free advertising. Okay, well, I've walked down this... Uh, track many many times and I haven't seen this before this looks fairly new there's not a lot of dirt in those holes yeah it looks fairly fresh and so I'll tell you what we're here now this stuff ends now there will be eyes on this property 24 7 and uh, there'll be no more theft. There'll be no more of this nonsense. There'll be no more partying out here. There'll be no more shooting up the place. It ends. Huh. This is interesting. Somebody lost a small fan belt or something. It's in this bit of Chico brush here. Let's see if I can get it out. It's really wound up in here. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me what this belongs to. I mean, it appears to be intact. It's really long. It's a big fan belt, but it's very thin. I have no idea what kind of machinery that would belong to. And there's some more free advertising for you, Keystone Light. You know, I'm not anti-beer, <laughs> not anti-drinking, but you know, these beer companies, it seems like these companies, all these light beer companies, I hesitate to say it, but it seems like they market to the lowest common denominator of society. And this is what you get. And so, you know, I, I like beer. I can't drink it much. But 
um, I love a good beer. Um, I don't like this stuff. I don't like light beers and domestic beers and stuff because to me, they taste like Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, there's some more advertising for you, Keystone. You know, you guys advertise drinking responsibly. Well, I'll tell you what, this right here is part of drinking responsibly. You don't throw cans and bottles out when you're done using them. If you want people to drink responsibly, include littering in your advertising when you give that statement. There's a nice vintage Budweiser can. I don't know, was that probably 70s, 80s? I don't know. Whenever we come by, we see something, we pick it up and bring it back, but I don't know what it is. Some of the stuff is more recent and some of it's been sitting here a while. But there's a can right there. There's one off over there. There's one right here. So I'll go and get those, throw them out here in the road, and then I will pick them up on the way back so I don't have to lug that bag uh, the whole way back and forth. Yeah, here's another one on the other side of the fence over in the wildlife refuge. Try to climb in there and get it. And another one. Bottles this time. Ooh. Look, a Bud Light bottle. More free press for you. A couple more Bud Light cans to pick up on the way back. Or no, one's a Keystone. Yeah. Keystone. You know, you just you just drive along this two-track road and toss bottles and cans as you go. This is a very dry climate. It only gets about eight inches of rain per year. And so this stuff does not deteriorate. When you throw it out here, it stays here forever. You know, it seems like it would probably take, I don't know, 500 years to break down those aluminum cans. The metal cans, I mean, how old is a metal can? 40 years? Uh, 50 years maybe? Here's another bottle. Oh, a Bud, it's a Bud Light. What is it with people? I mean, I, I don't ever remember being told growing up not to litter. You know, we just didn't do it uh, as a rule. I mean, we didn't just throw our empties out the, <laughs> out the window. I mean, I get it when you're driving and drinking, you definitely don't want your empties in the vehicle in case you get pulled over. But at the same time, my goodness, you know? Oh, look, there goes a jackrabbit. Don't know if you saw him, but the, he's a good sized dude. This place is thick with them. You have to be careful because some of them carry a, uh, some kind of hemorrhagic uh, virus that can kill them. And I've heard that this, there's another bottle. This is, oh, what's this? Clamato. <laughs> there's some free press for Clamato. Somebody's out here making Bloody Marys. <laughs> I love it. That must have been that must have been for the morning after their camping drunk when they were throwing all the bud cans and bottles around. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the Fiesta Resistance here in a second because we've known about this, it's been down here for a while, but it's time to get it out of here. I'll bring the truck down here in a little bit. We'll get it, but I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, another bottle. Looky here. And another one over there. Bud Light. And what's this? A Keystone Light. More free press for you, Keystone Light. And oh, it's an older one. Miller. Well, Miller Light. <laughs> They're all light, you know. Because when you're littering, you don't want to be feeling bloated and weighed down <laughs> when you're out shooting up the place and littering. So, so you choose a light beer. This area down here by the corner is a, right near the wildlife refuge is a popular spot to sit and make out or whatever. We found litter down here before and picked it up. We'll see if there's anything new. Here's some more advertising for Bud Light. Hey, and this still has, oh, this bottle was never popped and it's got a little bit of beer still in it isn't that nice oh another bottle yeah good bud light bottle all right piece of wood i'll leave it 
that can degrade out here that's fine now to show you my favorite piece of littering out here but first another couple of cans oh a pepsi somebody's drinking pepsi and another can over here let's see oh and a lemonade what is this minute made lemonade all right so somebody was picnicking all right y'all ready to see my favorite piece of littering out here talk about your target practice a tv <laughs> There it is. It's time to pick this up and get it out of here. Looks like somebody enjoyed a couple of tins of what are they? sardines. Yeah, so this is just what I picked up here within about a 20 yard vicinity. Time to bag it up, get it out of here. I don't recognize this. Is that a bottle? I have no idea what that is, but that glass is thick. It's almost three quarters of an inch thick. I don't know if that's a bottle or belongs to something else, but. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this one wins the day. Anheuser Bush, how does it make you feel? <laughs> you just trashed, you, one of your bottles just trashed Murica. <laughs> Oh, okay. on the way back and of course filling up the bag here and look what i found fireball Woo i'm here on top of this rise overlooking the uh, wildlife refuge and you know what there's the shouse right there about 150 yards away and look what i find right here on the ground you know another bud light can this one's fairly recent you know at least this guy was uh whoever it was was considerate enough to crush the can for me so it wouldn't take up too much space in the bag now, here's a 16 ounce bud light uh can with clamato in it what a gelada anyway all right so now about 100 yards from the shouse it looks farther away than it is and what do i see a nice shock top Belgian white, 5.2% alcohol by volume and 12 fluid ounces. Hmm. There's some advertising for shock top. Okay, I am about 40 yards from the shouse. And I look down here in this bush and I see a... And you can see what the sun does to it pretty quickly. Last year, Dinah was parked in this very spot. I don't drink Bud Light, neither does Rob. No one else we know drinks Bud Light, and I've been working right here in this area and would have seen this can and picked it up. So this is fairly recent, I suspect, or it's blown in here from another location, but 40 yards from the shouse. That thick glass that I found right over there across the way. Looks like it belonged to the TV tube. I gotta run some other stuff to the dump. So I'll just take this little collection with it. You know, walking along, we just got whatever was about 10 yards on either side of the road that, you know, this little two track road that people threw out. It's what we see. I know there's more out there and you know, I even found a couple of pieces of my trash that the wind had blown along a piece of paper and a piece of plastic. And I remembered the piece of paper from last year because it had some black spray paint on it. I used it out here last year at Contentment. So, you know, I understand the wind can blow stuff around, but the wind does not confine things to 10 yards on either side of this two track dirt road. And you know, I don't begrudge anybody who drinks beer. Of course, I like beer. I would drink more of it if I could. You know, I'm just not the kind of person who drives along and throws my stuff out the window, particularly on somebody else's property. If I could issue a challenge to the makers of Bud Light, Keystone Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, uh, and Clamato, and who else did I see out here? Oh, a couple of soft drink makers. You know, as part of your Please Drink Responsibly campaign, 
include littering uh, because you don't want this kind of press. Now, are the beer companies at fault for, for this littering? No, no they're not. But here's the thing, your name is printed all over these cans and the viewers of this video have just seen all those names. And if you don't want bad press, because you're marketing to, to litterers basically, if you don't want to be seen as the kind of company that markets to folks who trash the landscape, then perhaps, as I said, you could start a little campaign uh, to include not littering as part of drinking responsibly. Uh, either that or you may consider just taking your name off the can. If those beer companies could help out, that would be wonderful. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. Ugh. I'll get it later. So, you'll see here, these are elk droppings. They're probably a small elk and a broken beer bottle right next to it. Now, I'm not so foolish to think that elk can't figure out where they're going or see where they're going. But you know what? If one of them happened to step on this or that piece of metal from a can or something like that and hurt its hoof. I don't know if this was brought down by the river or not, but I'll take it back. Probably wasn't. Head back to the house now. Sorry for the windshield. It's kind of buggy. After collecting all these beer cans, it made me thirsty. So I guess I'll go back and have a beer and then I will dispose of my container responsibly. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. I, my thoughts and my heart goes out to all those who have died in service of our country. And, um, you know, may it never have been in vain. I think about the veterans who serve our country in war and in peace. And uh, I'd like to thank you for your service. But be well. Enjoy the time you can spend with your family. And God bless you.